Hello Korean enthusiasts, welcome to Germanication, a channel dedicated to a career breakthrough in Germany. My name is Anna and in this video I will answer your most urgent questions at the moment about the German tax and social security system, so that by the end of the video you will be able to tell which contributions you will have to pay in Germany and which amount will remain in your hands after paying taxes. This is a very important topic for those of you who are serious about finding a job in Germany. So let's go! Once you get employment and earn income in Germany, you have to pay taxes and there is an obligation to pay health insurance. The tax rate that you have to pay depends on your wage tax class. There are six of them and your marital and family status define the class that you get. Within the individual wage tax class there are differences between flat rates and allowances. This subdivision facilitates the wage tax payment for the employers. Under certain circumstances, wage tax classes can be changed. Generally speaking, the first tax class is for single employees, the second for single employees with a child, the third for married employees whose partner does not have an income, the fourth is for married employees and the fifth for married employees whose spouse already has the wage tax class number three and the sixth class for those employees with multiple employers. Apart from that, additional 5.5% solidarity surcharge reduces your monthly salary. There is another quite substantial tax position on the payslip and it is church tax. It ranges from 8 to 9 percent. Please pay attention here, you can actively resign from the church in Germany. Talking about income, you might ask which types of income are being taxed in Germany. There is almost no position that is not taxable in Germany. Obviously your monthly wage, bonus, benefits as transportation tickets or vouchers, a company car and so on. You don't pay taxes yourself, but your employer withholds them and pays through the monthly payroll. There are also expenses or costs that you pay during a year and which you can claim in the annual tax return declaration. In German it is Steuererklärung. This has to be submitted by the end of the March of the following year. In this way, some of your expenses as for example commuting costs, uh, moving expenses or double household expenses will be compensated or returned. The tax declaration is obligatory for everybody working in Germany. If you forget to make it on time and it is usually the end of July of the subsequent year, then the financial authority will estimate the amount of the owed taxes and you will have to pay penalties. This might be a painful experience because you will have to pay it almost immediately. This is the first argument and the amount might be more than it normally would have been. So don't forget tax declaration is very important in Germany. Other additional positions of taxable income which flow into your annual tax declarations are rental income, interest and dividend income as well as capital gains and losses. However, some positions reduce the tax payment liability and this is for example child allowance, Kinderfreibetrag or a certain lump sum for let's say home offers or income related expenses like Werbungskosten. Now we come to the next obligatory contribution that diminish your salary. These are social security payments. They consist of four branches. It is health insurance, in German it is Krankenversicherung, nursing care or disability insurance, it is Pflegeversicherung, unemployment, 
Arbeitslosenversicherung and Pension Insurance, das Rentenversicherung in German. The insurance contributions are shared and paid by the employee and the company. Therefore, just half the percentage. The general contribution in health insurance is um, about 14.6% of your salary. As already mentioned, this amount is paid half by the employee and half by the company. Similar is with the disability or nursing care insurance. The rate is only 3.05%. Unemployment insurance is also compulsory and is 2.5% of the gross monthly salary and is also split between the employer and the employee. And the last is pension insurance, which is the major and um, amounts to 18.6%. By the way, there is an additional insurance branch that also relates to employment. It is accident insurance, Unfallversicherung, but it is completely covered by the employer. However, if you are an expat and there is a social security agreement between Germany and your home country, then it is possible to receive a partial exemption from German social security system contributions. So check that out. Similar to taxes, your social security contributions are paid monthly by your company. Now I want to look with you at an example of a gross net salary calculation. Let's take an average gross salary of 58,785 euros as mentioned in our video about the salaries in Germany. So. Now let's have a look at any of gross net calculator. I will take this www.gehalt.de <clears throat> as a gross annual salary. I put 58,780 euros as annual salary and I put for wage tax class number three it is for married couples or for married employees um, and i put for child a yes yeah and a kinderfreibetrag is a child allowance uh, you could put uh, one or you could split it between your um, spouse put a one and for church I put no and Bundesland I will put my favorite one Bavaria and uh, one word it is city I put Munich or München better in German and for job title I put Fach Informatica. It is IT specialist. And for health insurance, we will type in um, statutory health insurance. Gesetzlich versichert. And then press the button. Now we have as a result and as a net annual salary 40,000 euros and 465 as a net annual salary. So deductions uh, for taxes and uh, social security payments are in total, in this case, 18,314 euros. So let's get back. Now calculate your net salary, which you think you can expect or which has been offered to you if you are in negotiations with your future employer at the moment and get to know what amount will remain in your hands after paying taxes and social security. We will put the link to the gross net salary calculator down below. By the way, we decided to dedicate our next video to a very important topic, namely the living costs in Germany. So you will get the fuller picture of what you will be able to afford with your net salary or in other words, what your net 
salary will be worth in Germany. Does it seem interesting to you? Then subscribe and hit the bell button not to miss any of our new releases. See you in our next video. Be positive and stay focused. Bis bald und auf Wiedersehen.